My decision has been made. When my time has passed, you will sit upon the Iron Throne. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters anymore. Rhaenyra, how could you say that? I'm giving you the Seven Kingdoms. Answer me, Rhaenyra! There will be six kingdoms, not seven. And Targaryens will rule over none. And I'm not Rhaenyra anymore. I'm, I'm the Three-Eyed three Raven. Raven, and I see everything. Centuries into the future, there be two heirs to the Iron Throne, from your family lineage. One will be a self-righteous leader, a mother of dragons, a breaker of chains. Oh fuck, there's only two episodes left. We need a convenient, convenient villain. villain. Oh look, Daenerys, we'll make, make her the Mad, Mad Queen, Queen. Even, even though it makes no sense to make her a Mad Queen. Queen. We'll just have Daenerys murder as many innocent men, women, and children as possible. Kill Cersei by collateral damage. Burn all of King's Landing. And do it with an angry look on her face. That will tell the audience she's a bad guy now. And then for the last episode, we'll have Tyrion convince Jon to kill Daenerys. And when he does, he'll be exiled to the Wall. Originally, John was going to be king, but someone on Reddit predicted our ending, and we thought shock value would cover up this terrible script. Oh well, let's write Star Wars. Oh no. Season 8 was so bad no one wants us to write anything ever again. George R. R. Martin and his books, his books were the true big cock the entire time. Not our sophomoric writing skills. George is the true protector of the realm. Dumb and Dumber could never finish this story by themselves. The books will live on forever, while the show will be a cautionary tale of what happens when little pussies try to fuck with a big daddy dick named George R. R. Martin. Wait, what happened? Fuck if I know. What just happened? David? Why do I suddenly feel depressed? And untalented? Yes! The books will live on forever, while the show will be a cautionary tale of what happens when little pussies try to fuck with a big daddy dick named George R.R. R. Martin.